Hey, and welcome to today's Clutter Corner. I'm super excited to have you guys join me today. I'm Angela Brown from the Clutter Corner, and today I have a special guest with me, Kathy McEwen, and she is a certified professional organizer, and she's the previous owner of a multi-six-figure home organizing company. She's a mom of five kids, and she has a podcast called Organize for Success. So I'm really excited that you guys are joining me here today. Please help me welcome Kathy McEwen. So Kathy, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me on. So let's start back at the very beginning. Let's say, for example, that all of us probably have a little too much clutter in our homes. How do we start where we are and just decide that that this is something we need to grab a hold of? And where do we begin? I think that's the number one question people ask all the time. And I think that's their struggle is they don't know where to begin. So I usually suggest that you begin by picking one room that you would love to get organized first, something maybe that's not too complicated to go through. So maybe not your sentimental items they're going through first, but start in one room and focus on one room and then focus on one task in the room. If there's a lot of clutter and maybe you're tripping over a bit of your clutter, then I usually start with the floor and suggest that you work your way around the room because as you're picking up things to decide if you're going to keep them or not, you're creating space already if you start to let some things go. So usually people who have a lot of clutter, they have too many items. So really it's the decluttering process at the beginning and that's letting go of what you no longer need. And I usually say like, it's overwhelming if you have a full home or if you have a couple of rooms, it can be overwhelming. So start with one and then one small area of that room. For example, um, if you're doing a bedroom, then maybe start with on top of your nightstands or at top of your dresser and then going through the stuff and then just focusing on one small task at a time. So when you say one, and and let's get more granular with this, when you say one small room of your house and then one small area and then one item, are you talking about going in the bedroom and going to the bed stand and saying, I'm going to remove all the medications from the bed stand and then put them where they go so that they're not all just loose and around and I forgot that I have them or grabbing all the lotions and the Vaseline, whatever you got, that you don't have a whole bunch of weird random stuff that you can't find in the dark when you go looking for it. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And so usually what I recommend is that you go through the items that are on your, say, your nightstand and what doesn't normally belong there, that's what you want to take off because sometimes we might have a cup, but we don't need the cup every day kind of thing. Or maybe there's books on there that you've already read, for example. So really it's going through the items that you keep on your nightstand that you don't need it to be there and putting it back where it belongs and then keeping the things that you do want on there. If you find having your medication there is helpful for you, then leave it there and maybe put it in a container so it's not falling over or something like that. But the limit as much as possible in the certain spaces. And and I love that you brought that up. The bed stand is an example because I just got back from vacation. And when I stayed at a hotel, I had everything that I unloaded from my suitcase and I put it on the bed and then moving it off the bed so I could go to sleep, I moved it to the bed stand. And then in the night, my husband is snoring and I went for the earplugs and boy, I could not find them. them. I had to turn on the lights and go through a bunch of stuff. And I got my cell phone cord and I got like chargers and I got books and I got all kinds of stuff on that bed stand. I'm like, why did I do that to myself? This is annoying. And then I couldn't find what I needed when I needed it. I love that you brought this up as an example. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you guys go over and visit Kathy at her website. And Kathy, thank you so much for your time and attention today. This was so helpful. Oh, thank you. It's been fun. I really appreciate it. Thank you.